But first, a Detroit bishop calling for an investigation after a Detroit police officer pulls him over in a traffic stop and approaches with his gun drawn. Now the bishop wants to know why he was singled out so aggressively. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson joins us live with more on this story. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, good afternoon. Good evening, I should say to you guys. It's, this is one's getting a lot of people talking. DPD is investigating this, but it seems like there's a lot of legitimate questions here that need to be answered. Bishop Edgar Van, the longtime leader of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, stands with us tonight telling us about his recent encounter with a Detroit police officer. And I attempted to make a left-hand turn onto Woodward going north toward uh, Campus Marshes. He got out of his vehicle, though, and this is what disturbed me. Uh, he immediately pulled his weapon, put his finger in the trigger, and placed the weapon on his chest and came toward me. My windows are down now. I'm seeing him directly in my rearview mirror approaching me with a gun uh, drawn and with his finger on the trigger. He says he was issued citations and isn't disputing those. It's why he was approached in such a tense manner, he says. He brandished his weapon. Um, uh, I, without letting me know if I was a uh, person of interest or uh, was, I, uh, was he looking for a car that fit my description. Action News talking with Chief James Craig today about the internal review now taking place. There was no conversation as to why he was stopped. That one issue concerns me. Anytime we have contact with uh, members of our community, I don't care if it's uh, Bishop Van or any other community member, if the stop doesn't go well, certainly we strive for excellence. And the bishop wouldn't say whether the officer was black or white. He says he doesn't want to make this about race. He simply wants to get to the bottom of this and make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody else. Live in Detroit, I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Jonathan, thank